and we actually get con Okay, we can dock there, apparently. We get control of the ship, and then we don't. Captain, shall I sail her to the wind shrine for ye? Oh yeah, you actually have the choice of either taking control and keeping control, or, you know, if you don't know where to go, let the pirate take you there. Uh, we're, we're not going to be doing much exploring just yet. Let's go ahead and let him take the ship to us, that sort of thing. And there we go. Boy, Sildra can really pull this ship fast. And then if we wanted to, we could just wander off and do our own thing. But this is where we're going, so let's go. Gotta think of it, haven't saved yet. Should probably consider doing that often. Oh, it's gonna take some getting used to having the item, the, the cursor start right here. I'm using it. I'm used to pressing up and there's the save option, but no, gotta go through a little bit more of a loop. Oh wait, that was file one. I don't want to save on file one. I want to save on file two. Alright. Hmm. So, this being a Game Boy Advance game, the music is different from the original. A lot of people like the original music better. The thing of it is, the Game Boy Advance is perfectly capable of emulating the original music, because there's actually a patch out there for this game that restores the original music, and it does it pretty dang well. So the music change was completely intentional, apparently. Princess Elena! What's happened? What's the matter? The wind suddenly stopped, and now there are monsters in the shrine. What about father? The king went up to the top floor. He has yet to return. Something must have happened to him. The crystal's up on the top floor, right? Won't hurt to go up and take a look. Ferris, come on! King Tycoon went up to the top floor to check on the crystal, but... When those monsters overran the shrine, we fled to this room and haven't been able to leave. Y'all suck. Crystal of Ceres is controlled by a machine that amplifies its power. Interesting. The crystal amplification machine suddenly stopped responding. Now that might be because the crystal broke. Princess, please take these with you. And we got five potions, cool. Can we have more? Please be careful. Nope. Drink this water to restore your energy. Okie dokie. It's another healing thing. It's a spring in a bottle. And it doesn't cost five dollars. Alright, let us go ahead and... We got that character on our team now. Ferris. Yeah, he's on our team now. Kind of interesting, that. So let's go ahead and do some exploration and random encounters. So it should be noted that in regards to the whole four job fiesta thing, and in particular four jobs in general, we don't have access to those yet, but we'll be getting to those after we finish up this dungeon. And I'll find out what my first job class is going to be. Uh, you know what? don't feel like dealing with a back attack. Bye! So convenient that the Game Boy Advance had shoulder buttons. This is a consecrated circle. Take a drink for all the times you've heard the word consecrated. You probably won't get drunk. Might get buzzed, if you're lucky. You may rest safely in a tent or a cottage or even save your game. Wow, 
That's that's amazing. We even get to save our game. Alright, left or right. It's been a while since I played. Also, a train's about to go by, so you might hear the rumbling of the engines. Another back attack? I ain't got no time for that. So, back attacks for anybody who doesn't know, and I'm sure you all do. In the back row, your attacks are cut in half because you have to go further up in order to attack the bad guys. At the same time, it works it the other way around. Their attacks are weaker because they have to take the time to get to you. And the extra time, the extra distance allows you to defend better, I guess. Oh boy, Ferris, you're kind of taking a little beating there. That level up will help. Know what else will help? A potion. Somehow I expected that to heal more. Ah, took the wrong staircase, darn it. Preemptive strike? It's a good excuse to run away. Boy, the, the monsters in this game are already kind of weird looking, gotta say. Uh, what, what are these things? Malformed wing snakes? It's like somebody tried bringing, uh, breeding flying snakes, but the breeding went horribly wrong. But at least they can fly. Thinking on it, a flying snake would be a very dangerous thing indeed. Alright, leather cap. Good. Got equipment. Let's give it to the person who already needed healing. On second thought, she's already got good stuff, and yet she already needed healing. He. He. Let's just give it to you. Oh, we got two of them. Well, in that case, uh, you can go ahead and take one as well. Cut your hair. It's confusing. What's a pirate doing with long, flowy hair anyway? Looking dashing when the wind blows through it, I guess? Yeah, Maddie, that's that sounds like a good reason to have long, flowy hair. I mean... If you're gonna be a pirate, might as well enjoy it. Too bad the wind is gone. And this room is empty. And that is some sort of bird over there. We're gonna ignore it and try out the other door. Ooh, I think this is a se this is a secret. First, got a broadsword. That's gonna be nice. You already got one. You got a knife. You got nothing. Have something. Oh, this isn't a secret. Totally thought this was. There are vines that you can climb in the game. That's not one of them, though. Alright, let's go ahead and talk to Big Bird. Incoming! You don't say. Alright, first boss fight. Wing Raptor. It's kind of lo uh, cool looking first boss. No oh boy. Now this boss is going to be kind of dangerous. It's a good thing we got all of those healing items because we're actually going to kind of want to need them. In fact, anybody whose health is getting below 25, please heal up. After a certain point, things are about to get really dangerous, so gonna be wanna be really careful as I attack. And there's the dangerous point. Do not attack it while it's doing that, it'll counterattack and the counterattack will hurt. So much so that I have no intention of showing the counterattack. You'll just have to take my word for it. It's kind of an interesting trend these Final Fantasy games used to have. Starting with Final Fantasy 4, 
the first boss always had a form where it would shield up and attacking it would be really bad. They did it in Final Fantasy 4, 5, 6, and 7. It was an interesting tradition. And unfortunately, there's another tradition. Boss did not give any experience or money. That sucks. I want to feel rewarded when I fight a boss. Oh, there's more tower. Thought for sure we were up at the top. I feel like there is going to be... Oh. Well, we can walk apparently on the edge. But is there a secret passage? It does not appear to be the case. So let's go ahead and move on. I'm probably most certainly thinking of a different place. And now we got many wizards. There are many of them. Alright, well, we haven't seen these guys and we're almost to the end of this dungeon, so let's go ahead and change rows real quick so that we can fight them. These must not be a very common enemy. I don't think I've ever seen them. Lena. You fight like a girl. Alright, made it to the wind crystal. The crystal? It's shattered! What the? Courage, the essence of flame. Devotion, the essence of water. Hope, the essence of Earth. Oh great, the amnesiac is the one with hope. Passion, the essence of wind. What? What's happening? Feels warm. Are these the crystal's essences? It's a good thing that the wind crystal didn't lose its... Oh, hey, it's Tinkai Kun. Le... Na. Father! Huh? Listen and listen well. You four are the chosen ones. The warriors of light. Bearers of the four crystal essences. Gosh dang it. What if I don't want to be a chosen one? Father, what do you mean? The wind crystal has already shattered. Yeah, I noticed that. Pretty sure it was in a lot more pieces during that one cutscene. The other three crystals are in danger as well. You four must protect them. An evil presence is awakening. One that wishes to return everything to darkness. Okay, well, that's actually pretty good motivation.
And that looks like a pretty dark energy right there. Father! Go forth, light warriors! Save the crystals! I like how they're being called the light warriors. It's totally a nod to the original game, the first Final Fantasy. Wait! No, father! Um... What are these? Guess they're pieces of the crystal. Crystal fragments and stored within the power of warriors of legend. Knight, Monk, Blue Mage, Thief, Black Mage, White Mage. They even have the special I got a special item theme from Final Fantasy 1. That's cool. The crystal is lending us its power. For now, let's get out of here. Lena. There should be a warp panel to the outside behind, behind the altar. Could just leave the normal way. However, for the moment, we got our first job classes. So, let's see here. So we got... I'm pretty sure... Okay, yeah. So we got six of them in addition to our freelancer job because apparently being a freelancer is a job I mean kind of sure so we got knight monk thief white mage black mage and blue mage if I was playing this game normally I would totally give one of these jobs to each character for example I would probably have Bart's be a knight Lena would be a white mage Galuf would be a black mage, I guess? And... Ferris would be a thief, because that seems really appropriate for a pirate. Interesting that blue mage is a choice. Was that always a choice at the start of the game? I feel like that's changed. I know that this uh, Game Boy Advance version added some extra jobs. I don't think blue mage was one of them, though. Well, anyway, that's what I would normally do. However, this is the Final Fantasy V for Job Fiesta. Now that I have unlocked the first crystal, that means I get access to one job and only one job. In case anybody is wondering, there are a variety of different options you can partake during this fiesta. The option that I have done is random, which allows you to obtain any of the jobs that you have unlocked. Normally, it would be like, okay, you obtained the job from this crystal, so here's one of these jobs from that crystal, and then the second crystal, you would get a job from that crystal, and then the third crystal, you get a job from that crystal. But the option I've chosen allows me to obtain any of the jobs from any of the crystals that I've unlocked. I did this so that there would be a chance that I could get more than one of these jobs, because these initial jobs are actually pretty handy. As for the job that I am going to be having first, I already know what it is. It was given to me without being told that it was given to me. And that job is... Thief. And that's not how you equip it. Try it again. Got a thief. Please select abilities. So let's see here. Obviously, as a thief, you can steal. And you'll also learn some other nifty things. Eventually, as you gain levels. Optimizing equipment. Unfortunately, cannot equip that fancy pants broadsword. That's unfortunate. So let's go ahead and get the rest of these equipped. Oh, and also get my chat back out front so that I can actually see you talking. 
thief for Lena. I no longer have access to the basic class. I no longer can use Freelancer. Now that I've unlocked the first job, it has to be Thief. Now, given the circumstances, a Thief would not be my first choice. I don't think. Well, maybe it would have. I actually wouldn't have minded a Black Mage. Blue Mage would have always been fun, but out of all of these choices, I'm definitely happy with Thief. Because of that description down at the bottom below, expert bandits who SP secret passages and foil back attacks that can sprint by holding the B button. Well, you can do that anyway, first off. Oh boy, that's some sprinting, alright. Like, holy cow. So, in the original Final Fantasy V, you could not do any sort of sprinting. Of course, I've been doing plenty of that in this version of the game because that's already available. And because Thief is supposed to let you run, they decide, well, um, since we already let you run, let's um, turn you into the Flash. That sounds like a good reason to be a thief still. Of course, there's another reason to be a thief still, and that is the ability to see secret passages. That is why I am fine with being a thief, because I like looking for secrets. Oh yes, and stealing. Stealing is also nice. Would you like an explanation of using the crystal fragments in the job ability system? Holy crap, you can talk! Alright, uh, I, I guess I'll just go through this real quick. The fragments of the Shattered Crystal are imbued with the power of legendary warriors. The four chosen by the crystals are granted use of those powers in the form of jobs. No, we're going to go through a detailed tutorial here, huh? Making sure that we know where he's holding the cursor so we don't... No, don't pick that! I can't be a thief! Or a black mage! I can't be a black mage! Aww. I've, I've, lost, the, I've lost the run. Nah, that doesn't count. By assigning jobs, the four characters can gain special abilities corresponding to those jobs. You know, I kind of regret going into this. I went into it because I was curious, but this is slower than I thought. But we do get a preview of possible abilities we'll be able to have if we become a black mage. Changing jobs and abilities changes the types of armor and weapons a character can equip. Not really sure why it works that way. You think that if you know how to use a sword, you could always use a sword. But no, somehow changing jobs makes you forget how to use a sword. Don't worry, characters automatically equip the best gear possible whenever they are assigned a new job. Can we move on? Definitely regret going into this. I shouldn't have done that. By mixing and matching different jobs and abilities, you can create individual types of warriors, such as a black mage who can use the jump ability or a knight who can use white magic. Let's use the latter as an example of using the job system. First, we'll set our job to that of a white mage. Can we not? Oh my goodness, I should not have chose this. I did not think it would take as long. I figured it'd be like, oh, we've got a, like four or five messages and that'll be the end of the tutorial. Oi. Much like experience points, as battles are won, you will receive ability points, APP. With enough ability points, you'll gain the white, white mage ability, White. Now, let's switch jobs to that of a knight. Next, as an ability, choose White. Your equipment will automatically be optimized to the strongest combination. Now, you have successfully created a knight who can perform White Magic. 
so you're going to tell us about it and then show it to us? I mean, I know, I know that people like to be all show, don't tell. But if you're going to go through the effort of explaining it all in text, why do you then have to show it off? I mean, I, I, I do learn better through example, I'll admit. But doing both things is kind of redundant. Of course, I'm only complaining because I really shouldn't have chose this tutorial. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't complain much. Because I do like being shown examples. Oh, it's over! Yay! Please don't tell me I'm a black mage. Okay, good. Still a thief. The downside to this is... Since I'm not a white mage... Not gonna be able to buy healing magic. Or get any magic, for that matter. As a thief. Alright, well. Let's see here. Where do we go from here? 